Welcome back to our show, Giant Dreams Under Construction, and with our focus on Remembrance Day today and the First Nation veterans and soldiers that fought in the great wars along with Korea, Afghanistan, and those peacekeepers that are still serving Canada today. I'd like to read a poem that we typically read on the mountain on the, at the Remembrance Day service. It is A Pittance of Time by Terry Kelly. They fought and some died for their homeland. They fought and some died, now it's our land. Take two minutes, would you mind? It's a pittance of time for the boys and the girls who went over. In peace may they rest, may we never forget why they died, it's a pittance of time. Read the letters and poems of the heroes at home. They have casualties, battles, and fears of their own. There's a price to be paid if you go, if you stay. Freedom's fought for and won in numerous ways. Take two minutes, would you mind? It's a pittance of time for the boys and the girls all over. May we never forget our young become vets. At the end of the line, it's a pittance of time. It takes courage to fight in your own war. It takes courage to fight someone else's war. Our peacekeepers tell of their own living hell. They bring hope to foreign lands that hate mongers can't kill. Take two minutes, would you mind? It's a pittance of time for the boys and the girls who go over. In peacetime, our best still don battle dress and lay their lives on the line. It's a pittance of time. In peace, may they rest lest we forget why they died. Take a pittance of time. The act of remembrance. They shall not grow old, as we who are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. There are those of us who have not forgotten, those who can still hear and see old war those old warriors rise through the mist, and we know that our lives were made richer by their sacrifice. War memorials and ceremonies are occasions for recognition, appreciation, and understanding. To honor or support a soldier does not mean that you support a war. It simply means that you support that human, their families, and the responsibilities that they have pledged to uphold. It is now our duty to honor their names and to work towards finding peace. Fort William First Nation had numerous veterans that lost, the, or numerous veterans that returned from the great wars, Korea, Afghanistan, and who are still serving as peacekeepers. We have many who have passed away and many who lost their lives during battle. I'd like to start with reading a list of the names. Um, it is our duty to ensure that these names are never lost or forgotten. From World War I, we have Lawrence Boucher, killed in action. Augustin Belanger, killed in action. Paul Dick, KIA. Robert John Howard, KIA. John Peter Crow, veteran. Frank Boucher, injured in the line of duty. In World War II, there was Joseph and Michael Ackaby, Private Frank Banning, Private Andrew Bannon, Corporal Arthur Bannon, Private Martin Bannon, Private Raymond Bannon, Private Russell Bannon, Private Austin Belanger, Private Peter Belanger, Private Frank Bushy, Private Luke Bushy, Private Lawrence Boucher, Private Mike Boucher, Private John Peter Crow, serving in both world wars, Private G. Surrett, Private Albert Dick, Private Daniel Dick, Private Paul Dick, Private William Dick, Private Robert John Howard, Private Mike LeBaire, 
Rifleman John Baptist Lewis, Private Wilfred Louis, Private Thomas Louis, Private Milton McCoy, Gunner Neil McCoy, Private Xavier McLaren, Private Eugene Michon, Private Xavier Michon, both World War I and World War II, Private Albert Miller, Private Alphonse Ogama, Private Moses Pelche, Private Edward Perot, Private Peter Perot, Private William Perot, Private Antoine Panassi, Private Thomas Pisca, Private Frank Singleton, Private George Singleton, Private Ignatius Singleton, Private Joe Singleton, Private Zeno Singleton, Private Gerald Smith, and Private Joseph Williams. Those are just a few names of the veterans and those casualties that we have endured from Fort William First Nation. We are all a community here. We are all a country. No matter what your heritage, no matter what your culture, no matter what your traditions, we are all Canadian and we fight as Canadians and we should honor all Canadians no matter what area they come from, territory, treaty they're signed under, or other country that they migrated from. We're all Canadians and we all fight together and we all stand together as Canadians. My goal with the show today was to pay respect to our First Nation veterans and those who have fallen. But I pay respect to all veterans and all who have chosen to put their lives on the lines for the safety and the peace of the rest of the world and for Canada. Thank you so much for watching today and we'll see you next time.